I've never seen anyone on YouTube or in the forums talking about this method I'm about to show you. It allows you to color grade multicam clips in the color page and sort them by the underlying multicam angle. That means you can select multicam angles, assign them to groups and group them like you would any other clips. Let me just show you what the problem is first. You come into the color page, I've got this multicam timeline. You can see down here, we've just got multicam clip, multicam clip, multicam clip. And if we come up to the clip filter, there's no way to select a filter so we can just choose only the clips from different angles and even if you come to create smart filter you can come to media pool properties nowhere do we have the angle name that we can actually use even if we do find the angle name and try and apply this filter it's actually not going to work I want to show you the workaround that I've created now for this it just requires one extra tiny little step which takes about 10 seconds come back to the edit page and what you're going to need to do is use this free script that I'll put a link to in the video description. Open up this script and you need to select two things at the top here. The first is the angle and the second is the color. Coming back to DaVinci Resolve, I'm just gonna zoom in and we've got these multicam clips. It's telling us angle one, angle two, and angle three. And these could be anything depending on how you've set your multicam clip up. It could be A cam, B cam, whatever. Let's go and take angle one as an example. You need to change this to angle one and then choose a color here. The color Color doesn't really matter that much, but here's a list of valid colors you can choose from. Just to show you this in action, I'm going to copy the word orange and paste it down here. Once you've done that, hit Control A, select everything and copy that to the clipboard. Head back to DaVinci Resolve, come up to Workspace, come down and choose Console. Make sure this is set to Lua, click here and then paste in that script and hit Enter. And watch what happens in the timeline. You can see all of the multicam clips that come from angle one have been changed to orange. Change this to angle two, choose another color. We'll choose teal, select and copy, head back to resolve, open up the console, paste that in, hit enter. And you can just do this for all of the different camera angles that you've got. Just be sure to change target text and the clip color, paste, hit enter. Now all of the angles have different colors. We can simply come back to the color page, come up to the clips filter, come down to clip color and then choose the angle based on color. So if we select orange, you can see now all of these clips are for the same camera angle. That means we can select them all, right click and go and add them into a new group. I forget exactly which angle this was. I think this was angle three. Change back to all clips. Make sure we're on either the group pre-clip or group post clip. And then if we make a change, let's just ram that red, come back to the timeline. Now all of the angles we'll have that color grade applied. And you can repeat the process for the other colors, for the other angles. Of course, you might want to change angles in the future and I'll show you how to do that. Say we wanted to switch this camera angle from angle three to angle two. You'd need to come to the color page, make sure that clip's selected, right click on just that single clip, choose remove from group, which will also remove the color grade because it's no longer in that group. Come back to the edit page and then switch that camera angle. Let's change it to angle one. But notice just because we change the angle, we don't automatically inherit that. You could either run the script again with the right settings, or you could manually change the clip color to match. Come back to the color page, choose clip color orange. Now we've got this clip that's not part of that group, but we can just right click on it, choose groups, and choose the angle we want to add it to, assign to group. And now it's going to, once again, have the correct color grade for that angle. Please subscribe for loads more DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks. I'm Jason Roberts, this is DaVinci Dojo, and I'll see you in the next one.